All right, guys, we are back with another episode of Coffee and Golf with Patrick. And again, in this series, we take coffee and golf, two things that I love, and put them together. We play different courses in the Four Links Network, and on the way, we check out a local coffee shop. Today, we're here in San Juan Capistrano. If you live in the LA area or Orange County, You've been here to the mission, I know my kids have on a field trip. Across the street here is this hidden little gem, very historic little town, a lot of hidden spots. I love just coming here because the pace is a lot slower and my family and I just have a really good time. Let's go get some coffee. Hidden House Coffee in San Juan Capistrano. And I love this shop. I've had friends that have worked at this shop before, and the owner is actually a veteran who served in the Marine Corps. The thing I love about Hidden House Coffee is their pastries. And this morning, they didn't have the one I love, which is the cinnamon roll, but they have this chocolate chip cookie. Mm. The Santa Ana shop, they actually bake right out of the shop, so it smells amazing and the pastries are fresh and amazing. But this shop, their local favorite is the maple bourbon syrup and with that you can make all sorts of drinks but my uh, cameraman actually chose maple bourbon latte this morning and he absolutely loves it well let's go play some golf all right guys we're here at san juan hills golf club in san juan capistrano i just looked it up on google maps and it says this course at san juan hills golf club is truly an oasis for both the serious golfer as well as the vacationing one i'm neither one of those i'm just here to have some fun so we'll see what happens let's go where I'm in between clubs and so it could be really bad or really good. I'm gonna hit a 56 and see what happens. Sometimes you just get lucky. San Juan Hills Golf Club. They hit you with five par fours in a row, and then there's a relief with a par five. This is the last par four, so let's see how we go. And now we're on a par five. A lot of you would think, oh, I'll just pull out the driver, hit it as far as I can, but look at this sign. 170 yards to the flag. Houses are 200 yards away. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a seven iron. And just those kind of situations, you just want to be careful. You don't always need to hit the driver. If you hit seven iron, seven iron, it's still good there. All right, folks, it's finally here, par three. On par threes, we're gonna try and capture and see if we get a hole in one because who knows. 160 yards, par three, seven. It's a little bit of wind in my favor. Here we go, sand traps on both sides. Oh, don't hit there. Sometimes you just shank it. Landed on the green. We're here at another par three. You can see behind me, maybe not. There's water right here, sand trap. Pin is right behind the sand trap and the green is pretty open. I wanna know down in the comments, tell me if you go for this flag or if you just hit the green. All right, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> was that the, what, what? <laughs> I flew the green. I had a pitching wedge. 150 yards. If I had that over again, I probably would've done the same thing. I don't know how I hit that hard. Get in the hole. Alright, I need to stop. And that's a three. 
Par is a par. Is a par is a par. Did it again. I'm going 10 cup on this thing. This is one of those shots that you just can't miss, but I'm sure I could miss. Wide open, or you just thin it and fly over the green. Right, another par three, par three, par five, and another par three to end the course. I could say that I could use another cup of coffee. I think the cool thing would be to have a coffee shop at the 10th tee on every golf course. So, you know, hipsters like I can have our uh, third wave coffee. Guys, we are here at the final hole at San Juan Hills Golf Club. Check out these custom balls I got done from Cut. I am gonna use this. It's a par three, 130 yards. See if I can get a hole in one with my name on it. Uh, that is not gonna do it for me. Well, when you try to aim left and you actually go left, shouldn't be surprised. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up here at San Juan Hills Golf Club in San Juan Capistrano. Thank you to Four Links with the points that I had. I booked the course and we showed up and they knew who we were, ready to go, and it was such a great thing. It helps us out a lot. If you get a chance to check that out, go ahead and do so. It'll save you some time and some headache. The course itself, not very challenging. It was pretty open and for someone like me who just likes to come out and play golf and have fun, this was a perfect spot. All right guys, we'll see you in the next one.